Hey, what's up everybody? Joshua Casper back at you with Plugin Boutique. And today I'm gonna to be showing you around Arturia's Analog Lab 4 keyboard anthology. This is a massive collection of some of their most famous synths, pianos, and organs. As you can see here on the screen, the collection comes with 18 synths, six pianos, three organs, and over 6,500 presets. I'm gonna go ahead and click start here. And now what this is, is a preset player. So some sound designers have gone in and made presets with different synths, pianos and organs, uh, you know, tweaked out the settings, the parameters, added effects, and then you have a kind of limited set of controls to manipulate those sounds. But trust me, they all sound absolutely phenomenal out of the gate. So if I jump over here to synths and then pull down the instrument filters here, these are all the different synths you get. You know, so you'll see some really classic ones like the Jupiter 8 and the DX7. And you, there's quite a large range, you know, if you get the modulars one as well. You know, we've got sequences, leads, pads, you know, all of these different instrument types. Come in here, Jupiter 8 really got some nice pads. So now that I have this preset loaded, I have these controls to work with. I can mix the different oscillators. If the synth has them, I can choose the different envelopes. You know, I've got envelope attack, decay. If I click right here, I can actually change what's, what the slider actually affects. And these are the different options that I have. These will sync right up if you have an Arturia keyboard to that Arturia keyboard or just a generic MIDI controller as well. You can see down here, you can do standard MIDI mapping. It's very easy. Now, if you happen to have the VST version of the synth or if you have the V collection, which is all of the synths Arturia has in uh, digital format, you click right here and then you can come in and actually tweak all of the different parameters. Uh, so that's something to think about if you happen to own any Arturia VSTIs. So it's very easy to browse and find what you're looking for, whether if you're looking for a specific keyboard or a specific type. You can see we have styles as well, like genre or bright or dark. Once you have a preset loaded, let's check out another one. You have effects. So if I click add effects, we have our effects mixer and we have a send control to send A or send B. And then we have those return tracks over here where we can add up to two effects. And these are the different effects that Analog Lab comes with. So we can add up to two of those on each one of the return tracks. And then we have two slots for the master control as well. And you might be noticing that we have the ability to add a second instrument. And these are ways to stack or split two different instruments. So if I click right here, you can add it over here as well. So if I click add, I can now load a second preset. So I've got the choir preset on sort of channel one or part one as it's called inside of Analog Lab. And then I can take something like this and drag and drop it over here. So right now, those two presets are stacked. If I come in here to this button right here, I can actually make it so it's a split keyboard. So the keys on the upper half will trigger one and the keys on the bottom half will trigger another one. Something like this is useful for, say, chords down here and then a lead up here or a bass down here and so on. If I'm playing on this half of my keyboard, I'm gonna be triggering this synth. And if I'm playing on this half of my keyboard, I'll be triggering this synth. Of course, you have the ability to pitch these up and down uh, octaves or semitones. If you don't wanna use the sliders, you can use the range finder over here as well. So not only do we have these synths, these pianos, these organs, but we also have a set of multi-stacks presets as well that we can choose from. So this particular preset has these two patches inside of it. And 
when you have two patches loaded, you'll have control over both of them by clicking the tabs down here. And then you have the mixer right here as well, where you have macro controls that you can assign to up to four different parameters from any of the two parts. And then you can still assign these sliders as well. So it's a pretty straightforward instrument to use. And the real value here comes from the plethora of sounds you get. 6,500 presets is a ton of presets for a, you know, a really low cost. Now, the fun doesn't stop there, though. If you're going to be using Analog Lab for performance, there's a concert piece over here where you can actually lay out your different songs and the different instruments you're going to use for those songs. And then you have sort of your set list baked in over here. Now, you can obviously make your own set list, you can save your set lists, and then once it's time to actually perform with the Analog Lab, you go click Go On Stage and you'll get a stripped back, cleaner looking interface so you can really focus in on you know, the elements you'll need to tweak while you're actually playing out live. You can't change the effects you would have to, you'll have to set these before you go to concert mode, but once you're there, you'll just have you know your send knobs or your balance of the two parts, if you have two parts and so on, you'll have access to those and you can see them a lot clearer. I'll make it bigger so you can actually see, you know, where about on the range the slider is or the knob is. And you can also, you know, pay attention to your levels here as well. So it's really, really cool. And you can still flip through the set list you laid out. You can't jump in and just find any old preset. You would have had to, again, plan these out ahead of time. But, you know, you come in here and just click the next one in your set list and you should be good to go. You can also use the arrows here as well, which we should go to the next one in the list. Just sounds so good. Uh, and then when you're done, just click the X over here on the top and then you'll go back to the regular sort of settings. Close down the concert part here and then you'll have all your filtering and browsing capabilities. It is a massive, massive collection. If you're into any Arturius style uh, analog synths, this is a collection that you really, really want to have. It's got something in here for everybody, any genre, any project. You can find it inside of here. I highly suggest checking it out. Click the link in the video description to find out more. I've been Joshua Casper for Plug and Boutique. That's a quick look at Analog Lab from Arturia, and I'll see you in the next video. Mm -hmm.